Good morning, fellow Amazonians. Today, na Wednesday, number six day for this month of September 2023. My name is Kapo Daniel, Wuna own countryman, Sense Pass King, Mr. No Kony. We now welcome to our daily podcast, a program where they bring una the truth, where they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our good people for Ambazonia, we don't get good news for Lebialem, news where it is sweet, like water where you get them for man where you don't tired for work farm. News where it is sweet, like lottery, like TSA, where poor man he don't win them. The good news it come for Libya Lem Allah. As our Ambazonian brief liberated them, they don't carry out an IED attack targeting a Cameroon military convoy. The convoy it be totally kaput. And everybody for day except one woman is survived. When I listen for audio way to come out for that attack. It, uh, today, Tuesday, the 5th of September 2023, where Major General Massacre, the commander of Team Retinan for Law LGA inside the BLM country, the mothers come, watch and see, sleep, nobody die. Now, in that. Sleep, nobody oh. die, indeed. The IED is sweet past Mbombong. As we see Cameroon military, the Rambi Kaput. This one is a sweet answer and revenge for all the dead across our national territory. We then go unresponded for the past three weeks for our country. We want to thank our forces, them for Libya, them for carrying out this sweet action. I be then predict for Ambazonia, say the killing instinct for our fighter, them, he go die when Ayabacho, he be start the focus on Palava money every day, liberation tax, liberation tax, and indeed. It be done transform and increase kidnapping for ransom just as predicted. And this cycle, I think, it done be broken by this attack for Libya. As our general talk, sleep, it no be die. Make any Ambazonian general, any camp for Ambazonia, where you be the sleep, you be the one that you be confusing and wait till it happen. Make this attack instill your spirit and bring back your killing instinct for fight against the enemy. Target the right target. And God, you go help you, you go succeed for that attack against the Cameroon terrorist state. Before we go to go before the ghost town where they be declared, I'm say two weeks ghost town, it am ready go effect. Yesterday, I ran Waka from all our city them with video calls from our network for Ground Zero, our activists and leaders them for Ground Zero, they Waka show me for town, for Kumba, for Boya, and every side for Ambazonia, especially for Bamenda, the ghost town, it Waka very, very well. Despite my instruction, why I don't talk to me people then disregard them. But all boarding school them, they start school as normal. The Cameroon military and their colonial governor, if fail for come out outside as if the plan for the school, the way be done contact them for Bamenda. Our Lady of Lords in particular and Sacred Heart, all of them they don't reject ye. And so now very good news. Na sweet British, Swedish bitter news for we Ambazonia. The ghost town where they go effect. Now, a very, very bad news. I will come for that one very soon. But first, I want to bring on the news where we get them. Say, Eric Tato, damn be charged for court by the American government. For inside Maryland. Maryland, that city for America, where you get the highest amount for Ambazonia them. According to the affidavit, where the American government is submitted them for court, the United States of America versus Eric Tano Tato. It is alleged, say Eric Tato, he don't commit weakness temporary, uh, tempering. And they give, say me the court, he give arrest warrant, me then catch him, me then put him under detention. It shows, say the investigation we will be done here. Um, say Eric Tato, he be used that in National Telegraph for go borrow money for America. Money where the American government he be put him, say during the COVID 19. Business is the way they be lost money, me they apply him. Eric Tato, he be go fraud document. That kind of Cameroon fraud. There are right plenty of people that name say I employee them. Put big, big salary them. Go take all that money for America. From the document where they say I'm for court. During the time where they be the investigate. 
Eric Tato, he be instruct the witness them, made them lie for the investigation, and because of that, they don't tape the record and they don't hand them for the FBI for the investigating authority and the agent will be the investigate. So he talks to me the court, he say need the arrest warrant. According to research, work would done do them, federal crime for weakness temporary figured up to a maximum sentence of 20 years imprisonment and over 200,000 plus dollars in fine. So Eric Tato, he face the risk of long-term imprisonment. And this one are just one charges because the fraud charge also, it will be established according to this document. Um, it shows that there are also investigators want to negate sufficient en uh, evidence. It temper, it temper with over three different weaknesses. So it they in deep problem. Somewhere it come a Sako also it be under investigation with the FBI for similar fraud charges. Chris Anu also it be under investigation with unknown charges them. We no man no know it way the FBI it investigate Chris Anu, but we know say if Chris Anu also it be under active investigation for criminal activity them by the United States of America. They already do search for a house and if they bring charges for Eric Tato. Likely within three months, we will know the fate for Chris Anu, he and Sako Ikome for federal charges for the United States of America. Eric Tato, right from the beginning, where he be inject itself for the Ambazonian struggle, he be then be considered like somebody where he do things and where he look like person where Cameroon government sent me to work for them. The first thing where he be bring them for this struggle, now wait to call him today, say in fighting. I will play some few audio for which we would have Eric Tato than be known for Ambazonia. The first thing we've been known for now the Gary process. Now he be bring this idea to make Ambazonia them or introduce them publicly, me them begin court hand for CDC worker them. Eric Tato also he be introduced the issue for start hate and declare other Ambazonians as enemy, declaring ADF and Dr. Cho Ayaba as the enemies no, 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 of Ambazonia. No, no, please, my experience for now fighting on two fronts the adf is an enemy to the revolution so it's no longer infighting because already had now before washington this will get infighting don't get confused now we get an enemy already we now clean adf and then we get la republic those are the two poor fashion because uh, it, 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 look at from a lot so kadev even dr kwanga don't come for live sugar compare about ayaba yeah in america talk we have here Red Jack on the campaign for the BLM, you get 50 soldiers, you take two, three for what cost havoc. Let it be clear. We don't get nothing again about cooperation or collaboration with AGC. Now, a group of the people, most of the girls they did for AGC now prostitute them. They need work, they need not. So, those are some of the things we Eric Tato be talk them. And wait till I want to make Ambazuna then know. Now, say when any man he come, he did lie, irrespective of the person, they try to lie about any Ambazonian. For make a media person become an enemy, that person is a big suspect. And whether it work for the Republic or not, that person it will destroy the struggle. Tapang Ivo it captured this sentiment very clearly. I don't know what demon came into 2018, but believe me, we are our biggest weaknesses have been the demon that came into 2018. Politics first. When we started politicizing the struggle, that was the demon. Two, we started introducing and looking up to people who introduced actions like chopping off the fingers of people, chopping off hands. The moment Eric Tato, he could be good, but he should change. I am speaking, and look, I'm not taking sides here. I will call. So those are the things where he completely turned around Ambazonian struggle, attacking each other and calling each other the enemy. Claiming that other ADF do not fight against La Republic and they are working for La Republic, they are actually La Republic, and asking our people to target Ambazonian with excessive use of force and dismemberment, which amount up to war crime. The same Eric Tato today would not see how we either begin to say CDC product them. We ego only get that arrangement from CDC, now from the colonial governor. Okala Bilai, because now he be the head for the CDC and he be the chairman for the board of director when they approve any agent with the supply CDC product. So me and Bazuna, they know, say, we know for sure, say, Eric Tato, he don't chop money. Even apart from that, there are substantial observation. We we'll get people the way they don't travel for America. But look, the money way he don't display them and the character way he don't display them. No man way he don't come out go for America, go begin work now, over work. Defines most more money one day, you go do come on get the kind of money where he don't get them. 
And if that person, if he be passionate about our struggle, that is money for translate for support forces than for ground zero. But that money will become for a hand one dollar in over four for any Ambazonian general in hand. And all the cable and all the substantial evidence in the show, even when people they be the advice for back, showing evidence say ADF the fight, showing evidence for for contradict the thing the way be the talk am, it be the deny. That one is shows in a man way it be the work for La Republic 100 percent Today Iwatalo, it don't come for America. And any other person, Chris Anu and Sako, with them too, that one you know even need evidence because they don't confess except say they be done work out a deal with the management for CDC also for pay compensation. Me they allow forces them or me they sabotage action the way they stop CDC me work. So we know say their own day it go come. Fellow Ambazonians, before I want go for the things the way it matter. When I remember this boy Fabiano De Cor where he come off of prison from Kuningi. Oh, you talk for all the people them for prison. All man they suspect this boy say he did work with La Republic right from the day before the one release he. He likely then for Turkey. Very few people that know the exact place where he did. He too they do exactly the same thing where Eric Tato be the duam. They can't lie about other forces than for Ambazonia. Today, would the year say he go try to take my mistake what I make him for video what I want to say. My school is start on Tuesday. I go talk say make it start on Monday. Where it means say he did contradict with our Monday ghost town. He don't go take that mistake now. Stand up for talk. Say, me goes down for Monday. is stopped. Say, goes down now. It be useless. We need for complete for abandon that strategy. Say, the work will fit continue to go even if we know they do goes down. That one already signed for man way. It did work for La Republic. It be the talk to the same thing where Eric Tactor talk. Say, ADF it work now for La Republic without any evidence. Even when people that the contact give a back, me personally, I rank send people them for he soldier them for he civilian them for him then show it in the way the ADF they do them. We feel criticize people them. Yes, now true say if you compare the money way ADF they get them and their action them, you will see that lacking. But me man no ever can lie. Any man way it is lie outrightly, even when there is evidence on the contrary and without any substantiated evidence, that man a very big sox, uh, suspect goes down. Na a must, na a sacrosanct something. This struggle it will be completely dead. Our resistance without the ghost town. No normal person fit talk say me ghost town stop. Where that man he nobody decide say me the struggle he end na end. The lie say resistance will continue. We need to understand two things. One thing I say before any man want to stand like a leader, or for lead a country where people they, they lost their life. You know they do an like experiment. You must get plan or you must envisage. How you go take the population and the struggle from one point to the other? He nobody show anything where if he take we forward. This struggle no be just for go fight. You go go fight people that they die to what end? Do you have a plan to win? If you don't, you cannot just be fighting. If you are fighting just to resist, then you must say so. But everything where they talk, now nah, completely wrong. Ghost town will no fi ever stop ghost town. Number one, our people them, the cost for ghost town it be minimal. Because of the longevity of ghost town, it need to still affect our economy in any significant way. First of all, civil servants them for ground zero, them first like them, that ghost town, because they get them one extra holiday. That means they get Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and a free day for them. Our business people, them, they don't already adjust. All school them, what advice way will be done again for them since last year, and I say me, they begin open school for Saturday for catch up classes for Monday. So our people, they don't adjust for ghost town. Ghost town it be more beneficial. It is not the only symbolic way where our population under occupation they feel manifest or demonstrate their grievances and their aspiration. So make all our people that know they want no be mistake way make them. Nothing we articulate them very well. Any man where he can talk to me the end ghost town for Monday, where the man no give any rationale. That man the work now for La Republic because this struggle rely not be only on the forces them, but now on the popular support. And ghost town are the only benchmark where the show say now one of the four pillars that we get and where the show say would not reject Cameroon and the resistance it continue. So make all man a whole ghost town even when we be confused. So my country people, may we get back for the real issue of today. When are the ghost town will be in effect for all across Ambazonia? Yes, despite my opposition and despite the fact say some school then when a boarding school then go open. For the most part, the ghost town it be be in effect. The first thing we are going to tell now, now the reaction for one of our force them for Ground Zero, whether they support 
I no go call the person the name because it be sensitive. I don't want me to be personal, but I want to make the point. This soldier, he called me and he be, be so happy. He said, Kapo Dane, yes, you see, finally, people that don't disobey you. Finally, people that don't get ghost town. So we get a problem when our objective for the things they will do are for fight against each other or for prove a point or for bring down each other. Then we have lost our way. We have lost our target. We should be happy when La Republic is defeated, when La Republic is put to shame, not when any Ambazonian in a person is targeted. When we start take action, we were objective now for bring down or humiliate each other. We then lost the whole point of the struggle. There is no zero justification for this two weeks goes down. From talking to our population, people they will be ready. And this time, people they not be even buy chop because they be ready one go out for ghost town. But the feelings where they, they express and I say the fear of the unknown and the confusion on instruction, they don't know who for obey, who know for obey. As a matter of fact, I can say today that there will be two weeks ghost town after this ghost town. There will still be two weeks ghost town. Any Tom and Jake can declare ghost town. It is no longer effective to project Ambazonia is in control this is a proof that ambazonia is confused if you are doing things that are foolish with no rationale no reasoning it shows that you are just dull the ghost the lockdown that we have locked down our economy businesses that has nothing to do with education have just shown us how collectively unprepared we are for freedom if you are not smart that is why united nation the whole world decide that before you give independence to a people, you must give them a sign to demonstrate maturity. Now, why that way they be give the trusteeship mandate where the big country they be more developed, they go train una. Well, now that reach for get independence, they will give for una. If we be now a confused people like this, to be honest with you, Ambazonian, even if an Anglophone is the president of Cameroon today, he will not give us independence with the level of low IQ and collective bad judgment that we have displayed. Even if an Anglophone is the president of Cameroon today, our demonstration shows that any Tom and Jig can say anything and we will do it. We are just confused. And make no mistake, just because a struggle is popular or a liberation movement is popular does not mean it will win. Remember the biggest developed country in, Amer in the world, America, they had the Occupy Wall Street movement that failed woefully. The American government through Obama instead tend to bail out the companies that the people were protesting against. So just because we are, our struggle is popular and everybody wants freedom does not mean we want freedom. One of our mommy asked me, say, Kapo Danebe, ready wait to be your opinion about this ghost town. I say it don't happen. So it means none. I say wait. It means you go stop for fight. You go reduce your way. No, God forbid. With the sacrifices they would have make them and the trust we were people that I install them again for we were hand. And my responsibility as a leader, there is no reverse gear. We must fight until we achieve and we make progress to our people. We all those who have died for that and there is no return back. We must fight until we achieve victory for our people. It is not about my opinion. It is about facts. We must be able to assess facts. Do you think the, go the lockdown help Ambazonia? The answer is no. Why? How can you gauge if something is helping Ambazonia or not? It depends on how you think Ambazonia is going to win. Are we going to win by just fighting and doing what we are doing? No. There is only one way Ambazonia can have independence. is by having the international community put pressure to La Republic du Cameroon to give us independence. Cameroon shall never give us independence by their own. Even if we kill 10,000 Cameroon military, they will recruit new 10,000 Cameroon military. They are a country of Sardina. Even if they are poor and broke, they will never surrender because the international community will keep on loaning them money. They will not allow them to collapse. And Paul Bia don't care. Cameroon support Paul Bia today for one reason. Because he's fighting Ambazonia. He's the only radical who can keep Ambazonia together. So there is no other way that we can win this war except through the international community. There is zero way we can win except through the international community. We cannot win them militarily. So, to understand whether anything is helping us or not is by understanding or assessing if that thing can help move the international community hard towards us. Right now, it is making us look like fools and stupid people 
in front of the international community. This is the logic of a primate. I remember some Ambazonia the way they be travel camp for here for Hong Kong. Say the one for seek political asylum. I be the advice of one, two case. One as a woman. We come up for ban so the woman come for here, it go for go do an interview. He go go for they cry sute. He go come out tell me say that show him. He cry for they sute then sorry, then give it chop, then give, give it some more smart in them. I tell you, say mommy, that one you no go help you for white man country. For here they the follow na law. Whether you cry and I cry hard, they will give you new they will give you toilet tissue, you wipe your face there. You come back, they go follow only thing where you talk him. No if you say when they ask you a question, it's strong, you will start crying, then they go sorry you, they go pass that question. No. Another one that some boy will be come for here. He can't do for airport. They do one movie. He come out say he go commit suicide. When you do and so, they will end up can't chug you injection. Still deport you. You go one go come back for inside Douala Airport or you're on the airport where you don't populate. Make would know say you know if you win or attract sympathy by showing say you suffer. Our people then feel say if we make them, it shows we suffer too much. People that they die so much. International community go sorry we. There is no help for somebody who will be suicidal. The highest thing where they do if you want to jump for building, I say they will come put some mat for ground, say jump for the. If you like, you jump, go for the other side, they will carry your body, body go through them. Make Ambazuna, they know, say, we cannot demonstrate the logic of hostage taking of our own people. If our logic is that we will hold our own people hostage, and then somehow the international community will intervene because of that, that will never happen. That is not how the war works. They don't owe us child support. So it is not about my opinion or somebody else's opinion. It is what additional benefit does this lockdown have that have zero justification, closing down our businesses and then reopening them after two weeks and then school goes on. Would the Cameroon government school that can go during those period not go? They can still go. Our fight is against La Republic. And when it comes to education, it is a rejection of Cameroon government schools. Those who say that the school could have opened on Monday, the same day with Cameroon government school, are they not giving the same logic that they were saying that I'm, I, I gave when I made a mistake? Because Cameroon government school is starting on Monday, number 4th. And we know that Monday is a ghost town day. Our school cannot start on the same day. So there is nothing like school starting on the same day with Cameroon government school. No. Our point that we can make that can add to the international community to understand that we are articulating something within their reasonable perimeters is that we have rejected Cameroon government schools, we have rejected Cameroon control, and we are resisting Cameroon control. So this goes down now a very bad indication, say Ambazonians, that they walk without any brain. Any Tom and Jig can give lockdown, the lockdown have lost its meaning. It cannot be interpreted by the international community as something that proves anything positive. It just proved that Ambazonia is suicidal. People who are incompetent, people who have no roadmap, who cannot articulate how something can help us, uh, can easily dominate our struggle. But we will keep on fighting because we are condemned to do so. How can anyone walk away with the sacrifices and the pain we have gone through, especially those of us in the diaspora who have seen better and know that we can do better for our people back home? We will continue and not relent. We will double our effort to educate our people as long as it takes. We must resist Cameroon. We have big, I mean, fat operations that we are planning in the Atlantic states and the coastal regions of Ambazonia. Those missions must go ahead. And for everybody who believes in what I do, please contact me and support some projects that are ongoing that I must carry. I need your support. Reach out and support the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform for more effective liberation action. For our people then for Ground Zero, our situation, we have become a people of where, where, where. So anyhow we do, we must continue for resist La Republic, no matter the difficulties and the challenges we have with our internal dynamic. And for those who lie, remember, those who come and lie about each other. Yesterday, they were lying about Ayabacho. Today, now Ayabacho, they lie about other people. Now, remember, Eric Tato, he can't start for talk, make Ambazonia them, begin attack innocent civilians them. Today, for the first time, as I leave Ayabacho, he don't come out talk to me, they attack now Francophone them. Innocent Francophone, justifying war crimes. 
and I feel guarantee una as the European Union their 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 representative for Cameroon it won't come out. It talks that the European Union go assist for target Ambazonians them where they do war crimes. Make una no say be serious. You follow bad cops as a fly. You go go end for graveyard together with ye. Nobody who have done a crime will go free. Even all of us will die today. Even in the afterlife, we will face consequences and judgment for what we have done. Whatever we do with the blood that have been spilled must be done honestly and for one purpose only, to serve our people. Our people who deserve more than any other people to be served by their own. The resistance continue and must intensify. Capo Daniel, looking out for you, signing off.